real power is found in the empowerment of others and releasing them into their own God-given abilities so they can fulfill what God has given them to achieve. In this sense, power and true freedom are one and the same. We become what we give away, both as individuals and organizations. Freedom and power then are found in the principle of the cross, the other's good at my expense. To have power over others is to take responsibility for giving them the possibility of fulfilling their roles in society out of their own internal and freely given engagement of their resources. I'm not truly free until the motivation for obedience is generated internally without external demand. This is what Christ modeled perfectly as prophetically proclaimed by him in Psalm 40, verses seven and eight, quote, Then I said, Behold, I come in the scroll of the book that is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. Therefore, taking someone into freedom through the position of power is to open them to the path of the cross with its accompanying disciplines of skill, stewardship, problem solving, and the other self-governing challenges. True freedom rests upon the platform of character. Please take note of this reality when we discuss how to achieve economic freedom and prosperity for the greatest number of people. It requires a system of power that offers people the pathway to economic prosperity through the gateway of character formation. It similarly challenges the systems of government and the corporate world to create management systems that guide people into concern for the freedom of others. Yes, we're back once more at Christ's greatest commandment to love others as we love ourselves. That is the foundation of both personal and corporate values with power.